My name is I Make Beats and welcome to the channel. Today, I got a special treat. We're going to be reviewing the lit pack created by my good friend Matrix Keys called That Smoke. So stick with me. Okay, so before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified when I come out with new content just like this one. All right, so my good friend Matrix Keys has just created a new pack. It's basically a collection of licks, one-shot phrases, and short melodic melodies. It is absolutely smoking. All right, so before we dive into the machine, let me show you just how versatile this pack is. Okay, so there it is. It's right in front of your face. It doesn't really matter what piece of standalone gear or DAW that you're using. It works. The MPC, the X, the Poly N Tracker, the Black Box, the OP1. It really doesn't matter. Grab the sample, load it up, chop it, squeeze it, flip it, however you want to do it. When you're done, it's going to smoke. All right, so the pack has 72 uh, licks, as we call it in the pack, 72 different licks. We're not gonna play them all, but I will kind of skim through some of them and then demonstrate some of the things and some of the techniques that you can use with packs like this one or the Gauntlet pack, the Colors and Shades core pack, the Dripping with Flavor chord pack. All of these packs can be used in the same way.
like I said before, it has a variety of different styles, different moods. It's really a nice dynamic lick pack. All right, so with that being said, what I've done is I went on ahead and loaded up a uh, one of the base uh, licks that he has in the pack. And what's really unique is not only did he give us a nice little bass progression, but there's enough space to where we can chop each individual bass tone and kind of come up with our own sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this uh, bass multiple times. Uh, let's just say, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six. I'm only going to chop this first section here. So each pad will be a, a separate bass note. So what I'm going to do on pad one so I'm going to move my endpoint to the very first, I'll give it like a little tail, just a little tail there. And then I'm going to truncate that. Okay. So now, and if I choose to, I could normalize it, but let's truncate it first. And now we have just that single note. And we're going to, and because I duplicated it so that we can grab each individual tone as we go. So let's move on. So we're going to move the start point and we can zoom in and get closer to the wave so we can kind of see we are right on it. And then we're going to move the end point. And I'm going to speed through this. I am just wanted to show you um, how simple and easy it is to do this. All right. So and there we have it right there on the end. already hearing music so let's go ahead and truncate that one now and so forth you would just continue this process um, breaking out each individual bass tone until you have all the sounds that you want all the individual tones okay so I've already chopped out the four bass notes out of that wave sequence that I wanted and I also put them on their own uh, choke groups. So they're all on the same choke group. So now, just a quick demonstration, I could do something like this. 